these representations of uh, Asian Americans, just like these you know, Orientalist representations of Air Americans, they say a lot more about American mainstream culture and the dominant you know, institutions and ideas and ideologies in America than they do about Asian Americans or Arab Americans themselves. Right? Uh, so we talked about how in foreign policy, the, the attempt is, is usually made to portray someone as good you know, in order to portray someone else as bad. Right? And to, and to strengthen the case for going to war against you know, uh, the Vietnamese uh, forces fighting for national liberation and independence, or uh, using American troops uh, to fight against the North Koreans, right? Um, or uh, today, you know, talking about uh, new measures to confront North Korea because they're part of an axis of evil, you know, as George W. Bush said. So I think that's calling someone uh, a good example of a minority is usually done in order to draw a contrast between the good and the bad. Domestically, it's just as if not even more pernicious, right? Because Asians start to be viewed as a model minority domestically, particularly during the rise of the civil rights movement, um, when, uh, of course, you have African Americans struggling for voting rights, struggling to end segregation after years, years of systematic oppression, um, and calling for the federal government, the president, the Congress, not to remain neutral in this fight, but to uphold the basic principles of American democracy and equality and the basic rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution. It's at that moment um, when you get um, articles like William Peterson's article uh, in uh, the New York Times Magazine on the Japanese American success story. And he argues that, you know, uh, Japanese Americans are the most successful group in America. They're even more successful than whites. You know, how he measures that is very selectively. But he makes that argument in order to demonstrate that minority groups don't need any uh, assistance or uh, remedial efforts from the government or people in power. Because all they need to do is pull themselves up by their bootstraps work hard, and they will uh, succeed. That's where we really begin to get this notion of the model minority being used to say uh, this distorted representation of Japanese or Asian American success is being used not so much to characterize Japanese Americans in a particular way. What it's doing is it's saying uh, that Asians can be used as a model to discredit the claims, the arguments, and the demands of the civil rights movement as they apply towards African Americans, right? And that's what's really dangerous, um, not just for Asian Americans, but for the whole uh, notion of racial equality uh, more generally.